We're at England's rugby headquarters in Twickenham, where Hawkeye technology is being put to the test at this year's Rugby World Cup. Professional sport now, everybody just wants fairness and wants the right decision. You've got to be millimetre accurate and you've got to believe in your technology. The Rugby World Cup is just such a huge tournament. It will be really important for us to be able to look back on this tournament and say more than ever, from a rugby point of view, the right outcomes were achieved. Hawkeye technology has been successful in enabling more exact and equitable decisions in sport for nearly 15 years. This year's Rugby World Cup will be the first that has used this adjudication method to help the television match official, or TMO, come to the most fair and accurate decisions possible. I think people think of Hawkeye and think of cricket and tennis, which is that kind of classic ball tracking technology, and you, know, you see a graphic rather than the kind of physical replay. This isn't that technology, this is video replay. And what we've done is, is looked at where we can use video replay technology, first of all in match officiating, that's where this kind of started 18 months ago, saying okay, how can we help the TMO in particular get to better decisions. We're taking the TMO out of the TV truck where he can't be influenced by commentators, putting him in, into a very quiet environment where he's just going to look at the video neutrally and make a decision, which I think is quite important for the integrity of the game. Specifically within rugby, the footage is shot with all of the different broadcast camera angles. And we have a team of two people in there. The, the guy on the right-hand side, his job is to identify as quickly as possible the best angle with which to review a decision. The guy sitting to his left, his job is to play that out, create any split screens or do any zoom-ins to help once again clarify the angles once they've been selected. So, so they work in partnership to get the best possible vision to the TMO so that he can make a decision quickly. Using this sort of technology allows us to have a split screen freeze at exactly that moment, foot in touch, ball on the ground, the ball being grounded under a heap of bodies, you can zoom in with this technology. So it's not necessarily about getting quicker decisions, it's about getting the, the correct decision. The boys have worked so hard, some have been in prep for the last four years for this opportunity and you don't want anyone to be served an injustice just because of a technicality. So having Hawkeye where they're able to get it right is perfect. I'll go back to 2007 when Mark Quoto, was it a try, was it a try? I thought it was a try. Something like Hawkeye can clarify it within seconds and uh, it's hugely important for our game. As well as ensuring decisions are precise within the game, player welfare is at the forefront of the technology's aims. The medical area, particularly head injury assessment, which obviously is a huge priority for us in terms of player welfare, has been a piece where we've really been able to use the technology to again help the medical team make better decisions. We're giving medical staff two uh, tablets that have access to every single broadcast camera as well. Once again, we, pr we provide operators whose job it is to select the best angle of a head injury. So to give an example, an incident happens on the field of play, immediately the independent World Rugby doctor can start removing footage. He'll share that on the tablet with the team doctors and they can make the decision, should we remove the player or should we leave him on the field of play? Massively important for player welfare, a big incident with George North at Millennium Stadium where the doctor just didn't notice that he was knocked out. So having those constant replays and Hawker once again can help out because safety first, albeit everyone's fighting out for World Cup and you want it to be competitive and aggressive, but we can't allow for massive mistakes and injuries like that to occur and go unnoticed. The other thing that we wanted to do is if there was an off the ball incident during play, we wanted to give the official access to that video content so that they could be reviewing things live during the match, which then means that a decision can be communicated quickly without slowing the game down as much as it does at the moment. We want the game to be compelling, you know, that's part of attracting new fans to the sport and keeping people interested, but again it's also about making sure that the, the kind of decisions are credible. Rugby's being covered with 30 plus cameras for, for Rugby World Cup, so we've got a huge amount of precision there. I think when it comes to things like discipline, players aren't going to get away with much. It's, you know, every blade of grass is covered.